Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome on back. So today I have a Kringle Candle preview of six of the new spring slash summer fragrances in the Kringle Candle line. So they're going to be doing six in the Kringle Candle line, six in the Country Candle line. I have the names of the um, Country Candles and I will read them off to you and I'll put the scent notes in the description for everything here so um let's let's get into it here so first of all these are launching on february 27th it's a monday um 9 a.m eastern i believe standard standard time there and uh so i do have a new code right now to save you 15 percent off it's just philly candleman it's the same one as my homeworks one um so if you're looking to save 15 percent, you can use uh philly candleman and it'll save you 15%. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'll read them off to you here, then we'll, we'll deep dive into them. Uh, Kringle sent these really nice cards along this time. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about what the, what's on these cards. And um, I already had the scent notes, um, but they put them on here, and then they gave you a description of that. Because usually the description's what they put on the website. So uh, Botanicals, we're going to be talking a lot about this one. And in true fashion, I just knocked the water bottle over, but it's sealed. Uh, in true fashion, they are the paint. They're the. They're not painted on like the three wicks are, but it's that painted canvas um, label there. This is a avocado and palm, right here. Don't know how to pronounce this. I'm not fancy. I don't pretend to be. Um, mon amor, mon amor, uh, amore. Mona More, one of those. Mm. Um, saltwater taffy. Probably brings back a lot of memories for a lot of folks. Sea breeze. Um, and the last one here is tea time. Tea time. Very gorgeous label there. Let's start with um, start with sea breeze here. So here we have uh, label looks familiar, right? Um, name looks familiar, Seabreeze, um, two wick, all 100% soy wax. All right, so I'm going to get my little card here. So here is Seabreeze, right? Here's Seabreeze, has scent notes and everything on it. An immersive scent featuring warm amber sands and darkened coconut fruit swirled within a coastal complex of azure waters, salted palm, marine kelp, and sun-ripened island fruits. Top notes of ozone and coconut, mid of fruit and green, and the base is, again, coconut and amber. So, coconut is what I'm getting mostly from here, but if you remember the Homeworks Island Palm Candle, um, there's definitely some similarities with the fruitiness and the salted air in here. It's a very um, green, green floral with a little bit of fruitiness in here. Again, the coconut is in here, and when I first opened this lid today, uh, the coconut is all I smelled after the, sitting for a few hours, um, and I got the room temperature. The coconut's not as bright and not as present, but it's still there. It's there. Uh, this is definitely going to be a summer fragrance for me. Windows open, down the shore vibe, um, and it's a beautiful label. All right, next up here, we'll go with, uh, we'll continue down the shore theme, Saltwater Taffy. Okay. Love the painting label on this. I think Saltwater Taffy's on the back of it, yeah. Saltwater Taffy's on the back, so they're, they're double-sided here. This one would go really well with a cotton candy fragrance, right? Mm. Scrumptious notes of creamy, smooth taffy layer. With sweet essences, essences of gourmet, gourmet vanilla, tangy strawberry, luscious pink berry, and pure cane sugar joined by a dash of sparkling sea salt. Notes of this are sugar and vanilla for the top. Mid is strawberry and sea salt, and the base is fruit and sweet. So I'm definitely getting that sticky taffy scent here. Um... When you go down the shore, like we go down LBI, Jersey Shore, 
and yeah, you know, I guess you're Ocean City, Maryland, all, all the way down the coast there. But um, they always have like that one or two uh, sea salt, or not sea salt, um, saltwater taffy company, and they're in like all the different shops, right? Um, then you go and take the one candy store where they actually make their own. That's what you get from here. It is definitely a nice, um, sweet, fruity taffy, right? Sugary taffy. Now, like I said, if you mix this with like a cotton candy or like the cotton candy clouds fragrance, um, or even like, um, here's one for you. Mix this with the, uh, with the warm waffle cone that Kringle has in the country line. Uh, cause you know, you should go to an ice cream shop and they always have taffy and they always have like the, the waffle cone. So I think those two would be a great, great, great combination. Cause that one would tone down the sweetness. This is sweet, but that warm waffle cone will tone down the sweetness a little bit. That's what I've done with right there. Love the label. Love the label. All right. Next we have here, we'll go with tea time. Going over to London real quick. So tea time, we're going to go to tea, go to London, then we'll go to France, right? Yeah, France. Um, right off the bat, if you are hoping this is similar or uh, an exact dupe of the herbal tea from last year, um, no, <laughs> completely different fragrance. It is not herbal tea that has nothing, doesn't even smell like herbal tea at all. Completely different, completely different. Oh man. With tea leaves in the heart of this fragrance, first, there is a definitive impact of the top notes, which are both sparkling, warm, and yet refreshing. I get that, and this is where I want to talk about that. The undertones provide a powerful and achieve both balance and power. The undertones provide a powerful and achieve, that doesn't say proper English, but, and achieve both balance and power. So, yeah, right at the top here. So the top notes are clove by zesty orange and carbon. That's what I get. When you open this up there, the mid notes of star anise, steep tea leaves, cinnamon, and the base of sandalwood and golden honey. So as you can tell, for the scent notes, it's not quite uh, herbal tea at all, right? That was like a lemon tea. This is, to me, this is even a spring or summer fragrance because it, because I don't associate clove and cardamom and uh, star anise with spring and summer. This to me is a fall fragrance, like you're in. Um, like October, right? September, late September, October, just because it has those warm notes to it. And, you know, maybe if you're a fancy person, unlike myself, you know, that's a proper tea thing for over in London because it's kind of dreary and, you know, always raining in London. <clears throat> but it's a nice fragrance and the tea leaves are there. You got to hunt for them. Now, this is also on cold, right? So I haven't burned these yet. It's got them today. Um, but to me, it's it's just got to be a, a fall fragrance for me because of those notes and the warmth I'm feeling from it. Um, and like I said, maybe they, they drink their tea over in London like this. I, I don't know. But um, that label is absolutely stunning. Big Ben. All right, let's go to France. Mon Amore or Amour. Mon Amour. Kind of like the velo, the velo fragrance from fall. All right, this was actually created based off of a very popular perfume. So it is a feminine, fruity kind of floral fragrance here. Um, a sweet blend of crystallized sugar and caramel strands lead into a heart of jasmine and oak moss surrounded by red amber and gilded musk. So the top notes of caramel strand, sugar crystals, vanilla orchid. And then we have the mid of star jasmine, oak moss, and crimson blooms. And then the base is red amber, gilded musk, and sandalwood. So again, let's take a second to appreciate this label. Very stunning. So yeah, so you get that sweetness, the vanilla, sugary crystallized up front. And then you get a little bit of the jasmine and the pink berry going on in here. Um, it's like I said, it's a it's based off of a perfume. Bonus points if you can guess which one it is. <clears throat> I 
yeah, it is just a sweet floral, like a sweetness of a floral there. Feminine floral, not bad. There's a better floral we're going to talk about. So there we have that. That is Mon Amour, or Amore, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right, next up we have here, we're going to go with Avocado and Palm. <clears throat> this is my second favorite of this collection. Yeah. So avocado, avocado and palm is salty sea breeze and fresh melon are joined with sun ripened avocado and dewy florals. Lush green palm leaves and aloe water are accented, accented with nuances of beech wood. So the notes on this read sea salt, fresh air and green melon for the top notes. Sun ripened avocado, water lily and apple blossom are in the mid. And then the base is palm leaf, aloe water and beech wood. So this is kind of giving me like a nice calming, relaxing spa vibe with that nice water lily fragrance. It is certainly on the aquatic side. It's an aquatic floral is what I'm getting from this with the, the ozone and the water lily notes and the palm leaf. So it's not a super duper green floral fragrance. It's got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's not super heady in the floral department, like the next one I'm going to show you. Um, but it is certainly spa-like, relaxing, clean, fresh. That's how I'm going to categorize this one. So that is avocado and palm. By the way, these are all coming in three wicks. Three wick, 100% soy as well. And my number one fragrance here, botanicals. And you can probably guess why. Oh my God, I need a hundred of these. I need, oh my God. This is a fragrance I've been asking for, for like every company for years. Um, Hyacinth doesn't get the credit it deserves. Hyacinth is one of the most fragrant florals you can find. Um, they only bloom for a short period of time on like, you know, Lily of the Valley and whatnot. But you put them in your house around Easter time, it's something else, right? Um, so botanicals is, Fragrant hyacinth and lily of the valley are enhanced with fresh morning dew followed by green bamboo and shimmering meadow grass. Notes of morning dew, rose water, and orange blossom, mid of lily of the valley, pink jasmine, hyacinth, and then green bamboo, lilac leaves, and meadow grass. This has about every fragrance besides the rose water that I would put in a candle. That's just, this is just amazing. It is super strong. That basically, this is a hyacinth plant in bloom around Easter time with a little bit of potting soil. And then you take some green bamboo, right? A little bit of jasmine, you throw it in there. And I'm warning you now if you guys don't like strong florals, don't buy this candle because this is a strong floral. I'm burning this first thing tomorrow morning. And uh, I, I imagine I'll be blown out of the house because that's how strong it is on cold. But it is a true floral fragrance. Again, if you don't like those kind of fragrances and you want something that's a little bit lighter, don't buy this, right? If you want that floral uh, and the greenness in here, buy it. If you like fresh bamboo from Bath and Body Works, take that and put some hyacinth in your mind, right? Some purple hyacinth for the most part. They're the strongest ones and there's the pink ones. And I have tons of them in my yard, but bamboo and hyacinth together this is a knock your socks off floral fragrance my number one pick of the collection so that's what those are the six of those i'm going to read you the list of the country candles blue raspberry coconut blueberry tart cookies and cream cake cosmic cupcake grapefruit rosemary and sweet peach so the country line Definitely more for you gourmand lovers out there. Um, everybody else, this line is probably for you. Um, I will put the notes in the description below of all of these so that you can kind of go back and forth over the next week and uh, see what is right for you, budget correctly. Um, and yeah, there you have it. So February 27th, 
9 a.m. Eastern, I believe. Um, I'll confirm closer to date. Stay, stay, uh, follow my Instagram, follow my YouTube channel, the community post, all that stuff. Uh, I'm doing a reminder. Philly Candleman is the discount code. Saves 15% off your purchase, um, except for sale items, some sale items. Um, but yeah, so there you have it. So um, again, uh, let me know what you think of these, right? So uh, all right, guys, stay safe out there, and I'll see you all real soon.